Open sports pick I've seen in a long time. Jalen Rose, C. Webb, looking like two regular jokers that work regular nine to five jobs on they on their way to the dollar store, the Dollar General. And I'm glad they made up. They in a good place. Salute. What I like about the mall as I get older, I can get my steps in. I can get me a fruit smoothie. I can sightsee. And sometimes I even decide to pick up some sneakers or something. I'm gonna be that cat. We're tired in somebody's ball, getting my three or four miles or five miles worth of steps in. That's going to be me. Now, right now, I'm in the mall because my wife is doing some shopping. So, while she shops in Macy's or whatever for about two hours, I'm going to have at least 8,000 steps in. So, I'm benefiting from being in the mall. It's healthy for me. Now, NBC and Peacock, they're bragging about the streaming numbers for the game on Saturday night. The game between the Miami Dolphins and Kansas City Chiefs. Over 23 million people bought that game at $5.99 a month just to watch a football game. So the $110 million that Peacock paid the NFL for that one game, they made that back easily. Not even talk about the commercials, ad revenue. I didn't even talk about that money. So you know where it's going, right? In the future, you're probably gonna see more NFL games streamed. Because at the end of the day, Americans will pay for NFL football regardless. I'm not gonna say the Super Bowl is gonna be streamed, but who knows what's gonna happen in the future with the Super Bowl. Who knows? It just makes good business sense to stream more games on one of these networks. The people saying the NFL is greedy, the networks are greedy, they've been greedy, it's business. At the end of the day, it's business. And every business wants to make more money. So don't be surprised in the future if you see more games streamed and they're gonna do big numbers because America is football crazy. Well, we NFL crazy. We don't care nothing about the XFL, USFL, or the United Football League, as they're calling it now. We don't care nothing about that. Well, we care about the NFL. We love the NFL. And Americans always talk about what they won't do. We pay two or three hundred dollars a month to watch TV with Wi-Fi and, and cable and internet. So we talk a big game, but we'll pay. We'll pay 15 to 20 dollars to watch a football game from the comfort of our home. And we don't gotta go nowhere on a big screen TV, 75, 80 inch TV. So yeah, we'll pay for NFL games regardless of the price. It's like smokers paying for cigarettes. They don't care if cigarettes are fifteen dollars a pack or twelve dollars a pack. They gotta get them smokes. That's how we're addicted to the NFL. Same way smokers are addicted to cigarettes. Man, you cannot go twelve and five every year and get bounced out the first round of the playoffs can't keep doing that. The Dallas Cowboys were not ready to play today. There's no excuses. Dan Quinn, Mike McCarthy, they didn't have them boys ready. So the only solution to this is to go get a no-nonsense coach like Bill Belichick. Someone that's going to instill discipline every time he coaches those teams, Bill Belichick's team's ready to play. They prepared. 
Cowboys was not prepared. You see all the blown coverages in the secondary? You see the questionable play calling? The defense didn't have no answer. How do you give up 48 points at home in a playoff game? How do you do that? That's why I don't get hype over the Cowboys during the regular season. All they do is tease jokers. I've been a Cowboy fan for more than 40 years. Go get a no-nonsense coach like Bill Belichick where everybody has to be accountable. Ain't no jiving. Ain't no bull junk allowed. And let them coach the Cowboys. Now, don't have them do nothing on offense. Don't have them do nothing on offense. Don't have them draft nobody. Just have them coach the defense and instill discipline and hold guys accountable. How are you in the playoffs and you get blown out to a young Green Bay Packer team that limped in the playoffs. There's no excuses. There's no excuses. Jerry Jones should be on the phone with Bill Belichick right now. Cowboys need discipline. They need something. But I'm not surprised that we lost in the playoffs. I'm surprised how we lost in the playoffs. 48 points to the Green Bay Packers? Now, it might be more. I just left a few minutes ago. It might be 57 points. But they need to go hire Bill Belichick. Straight up. Man, look. We need to go hire Bill Belichick. Hire Bill Belichick to instill discipline. Discipline and let him coach the defense. Don't let him nowhere near the offense. But let him be the head coach. Don't have him draft nobody. We still keep the same people drafting. But let him be the head coach. We wouldn't be stinking up the joint in the playoffs like this every single year. Hire Bill Belichick. The bottom line is, guys, I hate calling for coaches' jobs because this is not what I do. But it's got to be the coach. You guys have had three consecutive 12-win seasons. Nothing to show for it. It's been 28 years since you made a conference championship game. It's been 28 years since you won a Super Bowl. And you've had 12 consecutive playoff appearances without advancing to a conference championship game, which is the longest in NFL history. Unbelievable. A lot of people are saying that you guys should go get Bill Belichick as your next head coach. Because we all know that Mike McCarthy stuff was packed before this game was already over. His office, empty. He gone. But I know who you need. You need Coach Prime. That's right, Deion Sanders, Coach Prime. <laughs> RG3 is crazy, y'all. Huh? He's crazy. Mahalo, y'all.